Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video and you're not going to believe it. Although you've probably already heard the news, Blizzard completely revamped how Mythic Plus affixes are going to be working in the War Within and this time it's actually where it needs to be. We're going to be talking about the changes in this video along with some small concerns that we might have, but it's going to be a blast. All right, so the first thing to mention, and this article you can find linked in the description of this video, is that Blizzard is talking about how there's different kinds of people playing Mythic Plus and they're trying to serve everyone now instead of uh, having one size fits all approach. And the first thing that they're, they're going to do is remove basically every single affix that we knew of so far, apart from Fortified and Tyrannico. So uh, the Sanguine, Bolstering, Ranging, Bursting, the ones that were left over are now gone along with the four affixes that they introduced previously, uh, the one that were like the Kiss Curse affixes and people gave them relatively negative feedback on. I think those were bad initially, but with a little bit of work, they could have made it work. However, the big takeaway here is that they actually scrapped the whole system that they had planned and now they're introducing something completely different. This is very bold, but I'm very happy to see them do that because in the past, it was not always the case. Sometimes they would just stick with something, even if the feedback was negative, like a covenant. So uh, seeing them actually scrap an idea down to the trash is amazing. And uh, I'm really looking forward now to the next uh, expansion because uh, that kind of uh, changes that they're making is going to basically make the game much better for sure. All right, so all of these are gone. And instead, at level two, instead of getting fortified or tyrannical like it is right now, you're going to be getting some of the new affixes. Now, the new affixes are going to be themed, as far as I can tell, for each season specifically. So they're maybe going to be changing, uh, which is not a bad thing. The seasonal affixes that we had were bad. Some of them were bad just by design, but then there were also some that were quite enjoyable. So as long as they can design this in a good way uh, and having them change from season to season, that's going to be quite refreshing and uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. So far, we know of a two new affixes. The first one is Zavatad's Bergen called Ascendant. Uh, this one basically summons orbs uh, during the fights and there's, uh, I don't know, anything between seven, eight to ten orbs and they start casting. So basically this is kind of like incorporeal, but you get like eight or 10 incorporeals. And the way to stop the casts are basically, you can do whatever you want. You can knock them up, you can push them back, you can interrupt them, or you can AWCC them. So if you do that, you get a haste and movement speed bonus. And if you fail to do that, that bonus goes to the mobs that you're fighting. This is actually what they should have done with incorporeal at first place. Because uh, first, you don't need to spec into like specifically hacks or something like that. Uh, you can use AOE things uh, to interrupt them. And second, even if some of these go off, it's not a wipe. Because if incorporeal went off, it was probably a wipe, right? These are just going to buff the mobs, but if you want, you can steal the buff. So this is actually quite a nice design. Uh, I've seen this work on some footage already, and uh, I think this one could stick, right? This is actually the improvement that Incorporeal needed uh, to make it a good affix. So it's definitely a plus, not to mention that there's a positive side of this uh, affix. Then the other one is a little bit more interesting. Uh, it's called Frenzied and non-boss enemies basically enrage at 30% health and they start doing more damage because their haste is increased by 40%, but they also take 20% increased damage. This one could be a little bit more problematic at hierarchies especially. Maybe tanks will have to learn to kite again. If you remember, uh, I, I think it was called Necrotic or something when they would get a buff and they couldn't get healed so they had to kite the mobs until the buff drops. Maybe they'll have to learn to do this again. Uh, but it's not going to be that bad, right? So um, it, it's definitely an improvement over uh, Sanguine, over Bolstering. Uh, so it's another step in the right direction. We'll see how this one plays out. Uh, but I would rather have Frenzy instead of uh, some of the other ones we had so far. So this is what we're going to get at level plus two. And there's going to be more, I would assume, coming up, which are going to rotate weekly uh, in the future beta builds. So we'll cover those separately. Now, there's one more thing here. 
At plus seven, you get another affix, which is going to be the same all the time. It's called Challenger Sparrow. And this one is going to subtract 15 seconds on that instead of just five. This one is a bit too itch because at higher keys, basically you, you don't want to die. And even if you're like die in a boss fight and there's like no battle rest, etc., it's probably break of a key anyway. But on lower keys, you die a lot. Let's put it this way, especially in bugs. So this could be quite punishing, especially when it starts at plus seven, which is keys that people will be running for gear, etc. Um, if they keep the current system, plus eight is going to be your minimum aim to get the best possible gear in the vault. So I could see this being a little bit problematic, especially in pugs. Um, it's going to promote better play in higher keys, but that's not necessarily going to reflect in a good way uh, in lower keys. And also, judging for how dungeons were designed in Dragonflight, dying was punishing enough even without the five seconds because there were those long, annoying runs, uh, which I hope they're going to fix in The War Within, but if it's the same, then this is way too punishing um, already. But we'll see if that's uh, going to change or not. Now, Fortified and Tyrannico uh, are going to pop up first at plus four. So whatever week it is, Fortified Tyrannico, you're getting the first affix at plus four. At plus 10, you're getting the other one. So all the keys that you're playing at plus 10 and above are going to be bored, Fortified and Tyrannico. And this is something that you should not underestimate because this is going to be a huge bump uh, in, in, on difficulty. Uh, we usually we run both fortified and tyrannical in PTR, and I can tell you that uh, this is going to be quite annoying for the higher keys because right now, even if you look into the current dungeon pool, we have some dungeons that are a little bit easier on fortified and some that are a little bit easier on tyrannical. And there's dungeons like uh, let's say holes of infusion, which are cancer all the time, right? So now everything's got to be cancer all the time because uh, you're not going to have this week where you want to push, let's say, a holes of infusion higher, let's say. Fortified is easier for you. Uh, now it's going to be both Fortified and Tyrannico, and you have to push your keys uh, at the same time. But there's one more twist. So this happens at plus 10. At plus 12, you basically drop the affix that's uh, going to be present at plus two, that bargain, which is the orbs, the frenzy, whatever. And instead, you're getting the Zalatad's Guile. Uh, as an affix, which is going to be the same for all keys at all weeks, and that simply buffs everything by 20%, both health and damage of the enemies. So that is going to make it easier for the groups that are pushing. They're not going to have to adjust every week, uh, etc. And there's going to be no push weeks and other weeks, right? All the weeks are going to be same, the same after plus 12. But this is going to be a quite a huge bump. So uh, it's not only that at plus 10 you're getting both Tyrannico and Fortified, but now you're getting this extra bargain, extra guile, which is 20% more on top of that. So it's in a good spot because you get the portals at plus 10, right? So you can probably play plus 11 for your weekly keys and then plus 12, let's say, is already pushing for 3k and above. Um, so the only issue that I see here is that border where you have at plus 12, which is going to be this huge jump, not only because you have every affixes, but now everything is 20% more, more uh, powerful. Um, this is also going to reflect the high-end pushing uh, teams, which we don't care about, right? But uh, I'm just worried that it might be a little bit too big of a jump. Uh, at this point. Uh, however, once you adjust, once you become powerful enough to do plus 12s and above, uh, then it's going to be much better because you will know what to expect from the dungeon, right? You know the damage profiles, you know how hard the bosses are, you know how hard the trash is, and you're not, you're not going to have to adjust every week, which I think uh, is quite welcome. So, overall, all of this sounds amazing. There are some small things that probably need a little bit of polishing. There may be some tuning changes that are going to happen. We're going to see more affixes, but overall, this is looking good. We're going to see more changes. Yes, we're going to see more affixes, but this is an improvement and it's definitely a big one.
Uh, so I'm really looking forward to how this is going to shape up. I'm going to test it as well on uh, the PTR. So uh, hopefully it is as good as it sounds. Let me know what do you guys think about all of this in the comments below because uh, it's, it's definitely a hype. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye, take care, and get out of here.